Welcome to the transformative journey of linking QuickBooks Online with the general ledger in our course. In this module, we'll not only navigate through the practical steps, but also explore the strategic significance of this process. As we peer into Sanmart's transaction records, neatly arranged in our Excel tab, the need for a streamlined financial system becomes apparent. Let me expand on the width of column B. These transactions are a mix of sales from the likes of Square. We have purchases, vendors like Ram Supply, and we have material acquisitions from retail giants. Additionally, third-party transactions from the likes of Uber, Grubhub, and DoorDash add another layer of intricacy. This file represents a complex tapestry with credit and debit entries showcasing the diverse nature of Sanmart's business. You can also think of this spreadsheet as the heartbeat of Sanmart's financial transactions, meticulously detailing the ins and outs of the business. Let's dissect some key entries that stand out, shedding light on the diverse nature of Sanmart's operations. Starting off with this transaction on the 2nd of January 2023, Square initiates the month with a credit entry of $1,230.35, setting the tone for sales transactions. Subsequent Square entries showcase a consistent inflow reflecting the dynamic nature of Sanmart's revenue streams. Let's have a look at some of the transactions from third-party platforms as well. Entries from companies like Uber, Grubhub, and DoorDash illustrate Sanmart's engagement with third-party vendors, a strategic move to boost sales and expand reach. External transfer fees, Cisco transactions, and some intercompany transactions exemplify the intricate financial management Sanmart employs to optimize resources. Now let's understand the structure of the spreadsheet itself. We have the first section that I've highlighted over here, which provides a summary of the beginning and the ending balances, total credits, and total debits. This overview sets the stage for the detailed transaction log that follows. The transaction log is a chronological record of financial activities, including dates, descriptions, amounts, and a running balance. You can think of each entry as a financial footprint, capturing the ebb and flow of Sanmart's monetary transactions. As we proceed with the linking process, this data will seamlessly integrate into QuickBooks Online, becoming the foundation for comprehensive financial reporting. The balance sheet and profit and loss statements will derive their substance from these very transactions in front of you, offering a panoramic view of Sanmart's financial health. But first, let's discuss the practical implications of these entries. The negative entries, such as the one I've highlighted over here, are expenses or debit transactions, showcasing the cost side of Sanmart's operations. These can include vendor payments, external transfer fees, and operational expenses. On the positive side, and we have a lot of positive transactions, such as this one, these represent credits from the likes of Square and other sources representing revenue and incoming funds. This duality encapsulates the essence of financial management, balancing income and expenses to maintain a healthy financial position. Now, let's embark on the exciting journey of linking these transactions with QuickBooks Online. The outcome is going to be a well-organized general ledger that serves as the cornerstone for generating insightful reports.
I have logged into our trusty QuickBooks online account. You'll encounter various tabs on the left, such as banking, sales, cash flow, and so forth. We need to direct our attention to the banking tab. This is the gateway to automating income and expense transactions. While QuickBooks Online seamlessly integrates with major banks, we'll explore the alternative route of uploading transactions from a source file. Let me first start off by clicking on the arrow over here, and I'll select Upload from File option. Once I select this option, I have this screen in front of me. Firstly, I need to drag and drop or select files. One point to remember over here is that QuickBooks is specific about file formats. It mentions CSV, UFX, QBO, and other file formats. In this course, we'll be discussing how to upload a CSV file to QuickBooks Online. Before we can upload a CSV file, we need to convert the Excel tab I showed earlier in this module to a CSV file format. And that is going to be reasonably straightforward. Let's first go back to our Excel tab. Here we go. Now create a CSV file. So I'll quickly show you how this works. Select the data in these three columns. Right click, copy it. Then you select the file option and you create a new blank workbook. And you simply right click again and you use the paste special functionality over here and you paste as values in this new file. And that's it. So we have our three columns. Now, if you look closely, you will see that the date column seems a little weird. The numbers in the date column do not seem like dates at all. So how do we fix this problem? There is a very simple trick. You select the whole column, you right click, and you select the format cells option over here. And then you will go in the custom category and in the type section, you will type in MMBDYYYY. You'll hit OK. And let me expand column A. And there we go. The date now seems to make sense. Secondly, for beginning balance, we can type in zero over here because we started with a zero bank balance. I'll press enter. Now we are ready to save our file. And this is a very important step. So I'll go in File, or I can save a copy. In this section over here, to select the file type, I'm going to select CSV, and I'm going to hit the Save button. Now we are ready to upload this data in QuickBooks. So let's go back to QuickBooks. And on this screen, we select the file, the CSV file. I'll select it, and I'll hit Open. We continue. And then we need to select the QuickBooks account for the bank file where we want it uploaded. So we can just upload it to an existing bank account that we already have. It's called 1234. So I'll select this account. I'll continue. Then the first row in our file is a header. We have one column that shows the amount. And then the date file format. So I'll select this option. The first column is the date. Then we have the description. And then we have the amount. I'll hit continue. The beginning balance was zero anyways, so we can ignore this line. I select everything else and then I continue. We hit yes and the import has been completed. I select done. And just like that, we see some of the transactions that have been uploaded in QuickBooks Online. In conclusion, this module isn't just a technical walkthrough. It's a strategic maneuver in the realm of financial management. As you embark on the journey from Excel to QBO, envision the transformative impact on Sanmart's financial landscape. Stay tuned for more insights, tools, and strategies to elevate your financial prowess. Happy linking. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. 
To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.